here's my view review for the Aegis Solo kit by Geek Vape, powered by AS chip, ultra durability, super mesh, and it says two millimeters, so that will be the atomizer that's in supplied with it. Uh, so I got this from a store in UK, and I didn't buy this off Amazon, but as you can see my screen, <laughs> I've had it for a month now. My screen is pretty scratched. Uh, it does scratch real easy. Uh, but uh, mine is the red and black version. Um, as you can see, I have a bubble uh, tank. It's a it's a Freemax uh, Fire Loop mod. Uh, basically, or atomizer, I'm sorry. So basically, when you open the box here, uh, what you get is your little holder for your vape of course you'll find your vape in there you'll get an instruction manual here to let you know your safety and everything and turns and stuff like that well it comes with this uh atomizer here and i want to show you exactly what i mean because we're talking a a really let me move my finger but we're talking a really smaller atomizer to hold your liquid i mean it's good for backup but uh you can see how small you have and it does clean two mill two milliliters but give or take i wouldn't really think it was two milliliters this thing is like one point something else under two milliliters but anyway it's a good vape it's been la it last it's been lasting me and it works real good and I got two batteries for it. Now I don't recommend using any adapter that's over five five volts output because you could burn your battery up. I have two of them but I, I use a power bank. It supplies five volts out so you know I'm not burning any batteries up or anything like that. And, I do want to suggest when you're charging this vape, this, the bottom right here where you unscrew for the battery to insert it and put another one or whatever, it does get hot. So, yeah, just watch that. So it does get hot there. This is the Fire Luke uh, kit that I do have installed on it right now. I'm going to let y'all read that. <clears throat> and it comes with two tanks it comes with a standard and it comes with a bubble tank i have the bubble tank installed that's why it's round right here but uh, uh, anyway i use the i use the free max uh mesh pro uh i use um, i have the triple mesh pro in it now and i'm trying to see if you can read that it says triple mesh point 15 ohms And then you have eight, 80 watt to 110 watts. Now this vape does go up to 100 watts. I've had one before by another manufacturer. It's called Smock. And it went all the way up to 220, I believe, to 220 watts. I've dropped that one out of the wind, window and it's leaking and it, it just don't work past 50 percent battery left below that it's just not vaping no more so yeah i messed that one up but i haven't dropped this one but i think it would survive but uh it's a good vape i hope this review helps you and i'm glad i purchased it so like i said i didn't purchase on amazon that's why i got the red and black i don't know if they're going to add that or i just thought i'd share my review with you all right, well, thanks for watching my view. Everyone have a good one.